Hello every horse and welcome to the ninth episode of the Equestria Confidential Podcast for the 15th of July, which is a Monday. Uh, I forgot what day of the week it was. Oh, I, this, that, that's terrible, isn't it? I just... It, yeah. It's pretty bad. Yeah, yeah. We're almost in double digits on episodes. Yes, we are. And, you know, we, we should have been here sooner, but we're not. Uh, <laughs> we took a mini hiatus. Yeah, 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 we did. Uh, I am joined by Matt and Christian, as always. Hi. And, uh, how how are you guys? Uh, I'm good, thanks. Uh, how are you, Christian? Oh, the... Christian. Christian just he's just not talking. Just yeah, not talks. talking as usual. It's you know you know Chris. <sighs> oh, typical Christian. Um, yeah. If only we had a soundboard, we could have had like canned laughter or something. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh Christian. Oh, oh you. <laughs> <laughs> the audience laugh. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so I guess uh, we've had a little break. So we get we've got, got a three lot weeks of, of news to catch yeah, up. Yeah, we've got a lot of news to cover. So um, I guess we will dive right into it unless there's anything else you want to say about anything pwn related that may have happened that's interesting or anything in general <laughs> any more doesn't that count as news chair news i uh chair news i stole one of the dining chairs from downstairs you, and i'm using that instead <laughs> you stole one of the dining chairs i did that is how like i'm living the thug life right now <laughs> <laughs> well actually actually to be fair like I, i'm sorry we're going way off topic now but my chair in the summer is so annoying because it's leather it's black and leather so the sun shines on it from the window and it gets hot and the fact that it's just so hot in general just makes it sticky maybe you should be a thug like me and steal one from downstairs well i have got another chair but it's like it's like a kind of a fold up thing with a back with a, with like a well yeah it's a fold up thing and i just it's really uncomfortable Chair talk. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Right. <laughs> I didn't really mean to get onto this chair talk, but anyway, we got some new ponies like chairs, I guess. I don't. Lyra likes chairs. Oh, I, fucking... <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I knew you would say that, Matt. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I even said don't. I. <laughs> I can... <laughs> right. Okay. Enough talk. Let's Serious get on time. to the news and our first <laughs> item of the news where well, we've got quite a bit of Equestria Girls related news um, which is odd the because, best movie ever well, the best movie ever which is odd because um, it's all over and done with now I guess um, I guess could, could we briefly mention like the kind of aftermath of Equestria Girls didn't we talk about that no because we've not done a podcast since then of course yeah I keep forgetting <laughs> we've had like this three week hiatus so I've yeah. kind of been picking oh we must have talked about that but um yeah it, it was it was alright yeah I guess I guess like after the movie um after it was out for like quite a while and people had got a chance to see it um then oh you mean the aftermath no no, no. alright no, sorry, sorry. I mean the I... aftermath of like the, the response to the movie. Yeah, now it's been there for a while. Yeah, because I thought you meant yeah. our thoughts and opinions. I was like, oh, oh no, I no. swear we did this. No, I no, thought no, I was going no, crazy. No, okay. no, no, no. I mean, yeah, we did do that. That was the last episode we did. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, the, I mean, the like, page. yeah, I, mean, I guess some people have kind of, like, it's kind of, it's calmed down a lot, I guess. Yeah. I, I, I mean, even, say, even the people who said they hated it kind of just don't care anymore. Yeah, well, they'd, they'd have no reason so, to care, because yeah. they specifically said it's not going to have anything to do with the show. I've seen a lot of people be all like, oh, I wish Flash Century was in the show now, and I've seen a lot of people who are like, this is the most awesome thing ever, XD yeah. Brohoof. I, I, you just insulted half the people who were listening. Um, not you, I mean the other one who does XDs and Brohoofs oh, all I, the time. I, I, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yeah, he knows totally. who he is, but it's not you. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I guess. Um, I guess. Uh, what was going to say? I don't know. I, I can't even remember. I got. I got distracted. Yeah, but I. I guess like. I, yeah. I mean, there's been all this stuff about. Oh yeah, people want Flash Century to back to be back. And there was even like a, like a, a petition. Yeah, yeah. To I saw have the petition, Flash yeah. Century back in, and I just thought. 
What? And why? He's a cartoon character. He's outlived his purpose. He yeah. I, he doesn't. Like, well, uh... kind of. But he's outlived his purpose in terms of like the movie. But like, I guess it. I guess the thing is, is they had him at the end of the in the pone world and had them all be all like, oh, Twilight likes the horse, and so I guess that's kind of suggesting that he. You know, his time isn't over. Well, I I think well, I I just stand by that. I think the only reason why he was at, at the end was just to show parallel between the. Universes. Oh yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah. Like, but so I guess I know it was to show parallels be, yeah, between because, the two universes, but it does like to the viewer, it kind of implies that oh, yeah. it's gonna go somewhere because all of the girl horses are like oh. Mm, well, no, but I, I get I guess even the thing where like they say oh you've got a crush on him is kind of. It's kind of yeah, because they she, didn't really uh, she, need to do she, that. She denies it, and that's kind of yeah, that's kind of right that she should deny it because he's not the same person. It's like oh, I yeah, well, I yeah, guess. But she obviously did those. It's well, not like she wasn't going. Oh, that's crazy. He's a horse now. I like humans. Well, no, but, well, well. Piggy probably mentioned the uh, the the that he remind that he reminded her of Flash. That was probably all it was meant to be. I guess. Anyway, yeah, we're kind of going a bit off topic. So yeah, people wanted Flash Century back, and I honestly don't mind what they do with him now. He I is, mean, I think it'd be kind of cool. He's but... been redeemed in my eyes after the after the trailer. Um, yeah. Oh, like, uh, another aftermath thing oh. of them saying "stomp your hooves" in the song. Oh yeah, like so many people don't get that. Like the the. When they said because "stop your the, hooves" in the song, because so many people didn't the, get that the school mascot the school, is meant yeah. to be a horse, yeah, they were like, "What? They said stop your hooves? That's not right. They're not ponies now." It's like, no, they're 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 just that they're, they're they're meant to be their mascot, and but like they did like I, I guess that goes back to what we said. I, I assume we said three weeks ago. Well, I said about that they didn't the, make it clear, and that's the, kind yeah, of exactly. what I meant. The conveyance of a lot of things in the film being pretty bad. So, yeah. like, if I was you know, if I was younger and watching this, I'd be really confused, and mm. I wouldn't be surprised if a bunch of the little girls who actually watched yeah, this yeah, totally. were really confused. Not like, but I guess they just would have been watching it like, oh, princess, I guess. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, I don't know, like, oh, she's got the crown and she's the yeah. princess. She, I guess they wouldn't really care too much about, but but they said, stop your who? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm totally, we, girl, I'm so I, to be honest, we have to take this whole thing with a with a grain of salt in that yeah, of course. like it's aimed towards little girls. We can't really expect to Okay. What we get from the rest of the show is better than we should. Oh yeah. Of so course. we shouldn't expect better than what is the social norm for a TV show like this. Yeah. Alright, no, I think we should expect more than that. Okay. <laughs> if well, it was the normal oh, okay, if it was okay, the norm yeah, yeah, for a little okay, girls yeah. TV show. We expect it to be of a high quality, but not like the greatness yeah, there, that the is, actual show is yeah, to is, be able to spawn such yeah, totally. massive praise. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I guess the aftermath has been kind of it's it's calmed down. Basically, uh, there's not really many. There's still some chatter. So, of, oh, it was. I mean, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of stuff that's even like uh, it's not even the worst. There's a lot of people who who said it was the worst thing, and then they realised that actually it's not. It's that not. Bad. Yeah. No. So, uh, it, but so of much... course, you know, neither of neither of us have actually seen it. Oh yeah, yeah. But we yeah. will get to soon. But we may get to soon if we can be asked to uh, <laughs> to, to try tra- or to travel. Travel. Because, yeah. All the way uh, down. Because guess what, Matt? What? It's happened. <laughs> It's yeah. They announced the other day, or well, it wasn't even announced. It was kind of found that um, a cinema chain in the UK, by the name of I believe it's Showcase, is of course I go there all the time. I, I don't know where that is. I've never heard of them before. Is uh, is showing Equestria Girls? Yeah. In, uh, two of their cinemas. I and, feel uh, really bad. For anyone who has the misfortune of going, and these two cinemas are in uh, these two cinemas are in Leicester and Nottingham, which is Le- which is in Leicestershire and Nottinghamshire, which are like right next to each other. 
Yeah, that is a bit like that's I not did notice th- that. I was like, oh, so which not a very monster to me. Like, if yeah. I ever for some reason took too many drugs and wanted to go see it, <laughs> um, I'd be like, you know, but they were they they are pretty damn close to each other. Yeah, they're, yeah, right, so. they're practically right next to each other. I mean, but the I closest guess, one to me would be Leicester, but. But I guess showcase as a thing don't really expect like such a massive thing to them. I guess it's probably just you know a little girl's movie. Oh, we'll just put it in these two cinemas, you know, because it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it's like Hasbro UK said you have to put it in two cinemas across the country at least, and they said there. Yeah, that'll do. Then all the slap bam in the middle. Then all the neckbeard bronies will travel far and wide, miles upon miles, well, just a, to see. It's a it's a two hour um it's a two hour train journey for me, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm 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 gonna uh, I'm gonna I thought, go, I, I'm gonna I thought you said you could say it that I I w- I would be so tempted to go see it. Oh, because when <laughs> when you were saying oh I would I thought you said oh. I'm gonna see it. I was like, oh no. no I would just be so excited to, to go, go see it. it because, I mean, I I I said I said this to Matt like a while ago before the move before the movie came out. I said because there were people talking about like I mean it, the people were saying that it would be a good movie experience, and I was saying yeah, it would be a good movie experience, and we're gonna miss that. Well, and I guess. I always said that if it was going to be in the UK, I would want to go see it just for the experience and because it would be a nice story to tell. Okay, but... yeah, right. So it would be like a good experience, I guess, if people would just take it as the, oh, we get to see a show that we all really like on yeah, the big yeah. screen. But not everyone's going to think of it like that. Well, yeah, people are exactly. just going to be That's... like, because, you know, with, I assume by now, most of us have seen um, the whole, um, you know, all of the rips of the. Not yeah, rips, yeah. the recordings of the actual thing, and like in yeah. every single one I've seen, about three now. Just skim through them for to see what the quality was like. I've seen about three and eight, or every single one had just people being loud and obnoxious. Well, no, and ruining actually, there was the the, the one which is the the best one. Um, is has that the what was that the um one that had the um camera in the cup? Yeah, that was the one that had the camera on top of the on top of the drink. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, that the really good one had um like one guy in the background who occasionally laughed, but he laughed at the things that were actually funny. I guess. So but... I guess it kind of. And but like there have been some where there's been just people like, uh, like just making noise everywhere, and I just think it kind of, uh, you know, if I went. It would be my sole duty to create order. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just then I'm like, shut you goddamn it mouth. would be like it would be like the movie's just about to start and I would get to the front of the screen and I'd be like, Guys, okay, we're all Listen here. Little shits. We all enjoy the show. <laughs> Let's just have a nice, relaxed day. It's only on for one showing. Let's make the most of it. Let's not ruin it for anyone. Let's not ruin it for the little girls. Let's just be calm, relaxed, not obnoxious, not loud. Just keep calm and flutter on. Yeah, <laughs> do that, and then we'd go there, and then no one would listen to a word I would say. And yeah, everyone, yeah. Would, everyone would throw their spaghetti at you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boo! <laughs> That's not twenty uh, percent cooler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I would. I'm so tempted to go see it because it's honestly not that much money. It would it would cost me around about the cost of the the Blu-ray. If you go, can you please write about your experience of going to see it or God. vlog or something? Oh do yes, something. I want to do this, Matt. Don't tempt <laughs> me. Blog. Guys, so I'm on my way to go see a question of girls. <laughs> oh God, that would I I'll would make a vlog on my personal channel, so no one will find exactly. it. Yeah. Fine. You need to make an article about it. Yeah. So. Okay. I'll I'll post it on EQC. Oh no. So but the I... no people who read our website would be the same <laughs> no people who would watch the video. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yes. I mean, basically, I I am I would be tempted to go see it, but I mean, there have been talks of people going to see it on the Saturday, yeah. so I might go see it on the Sunday. 
but yeah, but I guess half of the thing of going would like if you were gonna go, you'd expect spaghetti, so it'd be kind of funny to go yeah. just to see the spaghetti as well. I I I, I guess because you've already seen the film, so I know, but I don't want I don't want it ruined. <laughs> but it's gonna be there are gonna be spaghetti lords on Sunday too. I think Chris Chris is gonna go there and full Rainbow Dash cosplay, aren't you, Chris? <laughs> Uh, sorry, um, he I just kind of cut that. out for a second, but he he did say yes. Like uh, that won't oh. come up in the recording, but he definitely said yes. Oh, okay, there, yeah, that's yeah. Good then. yeah. He's gonna go and he's gonna he's gonna have a really good time. <clears throat> <laughs> it it will be good, he will say. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, I I am I'm tempted. Matt, do you want to come with me? Ah, <laughs> uh, I would, but work. And... Um. No, I wouldn't. Like, I wouldn't want to go. I mean, I can see the appeal of it being, oh, you know, it's, you know, uh, on the big screen. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's going to be lots of fun. But at the end, it's like, I don't really want to pay all that money just to see a film I've already seen. And I'm just going to end up getting it on DVD or Blu-ray anyway. Well, yeah, the, I think one of the issues I have is that I would spend that much money to go see it. And then... I would have to go see it because I spent that much money. I couldn't chicken out. Yeah, exactly. I couldn't. I couldn't. When I'm at there, suddenly turn around and say, "You know what? No, Guys, I can't do I'm, it. I'm not doing this. I'm not. I can't do it. I I wouldn't have because I've spent so I've just spent so much money on it. Like yeah. Nah. When I've I guess you could. It, I, uh, I guess you could say my thoughts on going to see it would be if I wanted to go see spaghetti, I'd just go to Tesco. I mean, I. I could totally just like if it was closer to, if it was closer to me I'd be so much more tempted. I guess it's the distance. It it's the distance. I would yeah. I probably won't go see it. Yeah. I but guess now, but now you've teased us with that vlog. I I I don't know. I don't know. I <laughs> I don't know. Right anyway. Um Yeah, we should probably move on to the rest yeah, of the news. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, apart from it being released in the UK, it's also coming out in Australia later in the month. It's on like the Oh, when is it? It's the it's the it's the uh, the 24th, the 25th, the 31st, and then the 1st of September. And then it's it yeah, it's coming to Australia then. And um yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, like, like I did, then, like I expect it to be in most English-speaking countries. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. I, I think actually no. I think it's actually getting a TV release in um, somewhere. Um, like later this month, and I don't think I'm not sure if it's in English, but it actually might be. I'm not too sure. But even so, um, uh, even so, it's like uh, what, what am I saying? I yeah, don't know. Yeah, <laughs> what are you even, even so, it, the the last one in Australia is on the first, and it's shown on the first on the hub anyway. So by that yeah. point, we will have a 1080p version of it. Yeah. So and it will be good. Yeah, it will hopefully be good. Um, okay. So yeah, I, I guess that's that's it for for the for the Equestria Girls related movie news. But we got some extended media coming out for Equestria Girls. Is that what you call it? Extended media. Extended media. What do you call it? With like, I, it, that is what you call it, isn't it? Extended it's, media. I don't know. It just seemed a bit formal. Okay, I guess. okay, fine. And in the form of uh, a big comic book centered around Equestria Girls. Uh, I wonder where they're is... going to go with that because the comics of I take it it's going to be the same people who write the comics at the yep, moment. Yep, it's it's basically the, the... like they've got three of the people who work on the comics writing the story, and they've got um, uh, quite a few artists working on the. Uh, they've got the same artist doing the actual comics, and then another one doing the cover. So it's kind of it's kind of a big group effort because it's a big annual release, as they're calling it. Yeah, because the thing about the um, comics is they've um, always been like in terms of the actual content itself a lot more self-aware than the show what, what because like the people who do the show they obviously know about the fandom and everything oh, but yeah. in the comic they will always not always um, they will actually have 
I guess hints and stuff. Like, and I, I guess uh, yeah, I yeah, could say yeah, the yeah. comics the, are kind of comics... more tailored to us than to little girls. Well, yeah, you, yeah. I, I suppose that is true because if you think about it, it, it's kind of it's a comic book series that you know little girls don't normally. Yeah, and it, that just comic, makes me think comic book series is kind of a lot more associated with the the teen audience. The teen male audience is is comic books. Yeah. So I guess I get where you're coming from, yeah. Yeah, so like, um, and it's not just the thing of comics in general, I guess it's the way that they write them and everything as well. Yeah, I suppose. And the way they um, always have fandom stuff and, you know, yeah. Mando horse in the background. <laughs> yes. And, yeah, so like, I kind of wonder what they're going to do with the whole Equestria Girls thing. Well, that, um, I, I think that could be pretty interesting. Well, they've. Uh, a section of it is going to be invail- available in the. Um, in issue nine, in the Comic Con version of issue nine, oh, and um, that section is going to be the backstory of Sunset Shimmer. But the that could that, be kind of interesting. That's based. That's set in the human, in non human, in the Pony World. Pony World, yeah. yeah. I I guess so. The time she was Princess Celestia's yeah, student. Yeah, it, it will be all like she was Celestia's student, and then it will be how she came to find the portal and how she went and everything. She'll be all like. Um, but the actual Equestria Girls part is kind of... I, I, everyone assumes that they're going to do kind of a... Just a backstory to all of the characters. Mm-hmm. To like the, to the, to the main five, as they are, kind of. Because they're not Twilight. But yeah, I mean... Yeah. So they could kind of do that. I or, thought it was going to be something of um, the Twilight they mentioned in Oh Yeah, 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 yeah. Or they could do it after where... Where City Twilight shows up. Yeah, exactly. That's what I think but, they'll do. But I think if they do, but I mean, I I think they kind of left that open for a series. So if they did that in the comic, that would completely close any opportunity they could do for a series. Not really. Like, as <sighs> most people who watch the show don't read the comics. Well, no, but you, no, because they have they all they kind of have this thing where they don't want to do the same stories in the comics and in the show. Yeah, I guess, but. It wouldn't be such a massive deal, I well, don't think. I don't think it'd be a deal breaker. No, but I, I just think the I, I don't know. I, I, I reckon they purposely left that in so if Hasbro could turn around and say that we they wanted to do a series, they had something to build up on. So I think using it in the comics would might be a waste. I'm not sure. I guess, but, but it depends. I mean, like, because I assume they talk to each other about these things. Yeah, yeah, but I guess if it was one continuous story. And it started with the backstory of Sunset Shimmer, then it would make more sense if it was kind of she goes into the human world and then meets everyone else, and then it's the story of how like she kind of tore them apart. Yeah, that could be interesting too. So there are yeah. quite a few things they can do, to be honest. Yeah, because I mean, yeah, it, it, I mean, okay, it is restricted in the fact that it has to be set in the high school, but it's open course, in the yeah. fact that it's a new world and they've hardly there were unexplored it. things in the film, yeah, yeah, ex- yeah, totally. So I mean, they could they could easily do something with it, and, but it just depends what. Um, that's being released alongside issue twelve the same month, which is the last part of the fourth story arc. And also being released alongside the Spike micro comic that they're oh. doing. How many of the micro comics are out, or is that the first one? Um, there are five out at the moment. Applejack's comes out this month. <laughs> I know. And um, and then you mean the horse the... on the banner? Yep, the horse on the banner this month. And then um, they're doing a cute Mark Crusaders one. All right, that could be cool. And then a Celestia one. I really need to pick up the comics. Yeah, the comics yeah. are good. Yeah, I mean, I wanted to... Um, I've still got the... Uh, oh, I think I still do have them on pre-order. Yeah, I do. All right. Awesome. The, uh, the actual... Um, I forgot what they call them. Volumes, the volumes series yeah. or whatever. I've got I've got those. The micro-series one and the uh, actual one. All right. Awesome. Um, That'll be good. And then... It was good. Yeah, and then, and then after the... the and then after the Cube Mark Crusaders doing a <laughs> Celestia one... And then after that, they're doing um, Spike. But they did say, actually, there was a recent interview where they said that um, future characters they could do 
in micro series comics include like Luna, considering they did Celestia, um, yep. Trixie, and they actually suggested Vinyl as one of them. Oh my god, I thought you were going to say Derpy for a second. No, right, cool. but I mean, that means... That Vinyl will be called, you know, they, that's some canon backstory. They, yeah, I mean, they are kind of, if they're going to explore the background characters... Well, there I is mean, still a thing of whether or not hey. people consider the comics canon, but it's the most canon thing we'll have. Well, the comics are good. I mean... Well, I just, yeah, I'm, I'm not saying they're not good. Yeah, I'm yeah, saying I mean, that I, people still doubt whether they're canon or not. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, but if they were canon, then it would be a pretty good canon, because they are good. Um... Like I, I, this or was, yeah. This month I got the last, I got issue eight, which is the last part of the um, second story arc, and that's really good. Um, the the whole of the second, the whole of volume two is really good. It's definitely different, and, and it's definitely something they wouldn't do in the show. Um, I won't hmm. spoil anything in case you want to read it or I yeah, it for anyone else. Eventually. But it, yeah, it's pretty good. It's the kind of thing where it came out the same month for Equestria Girls, and I thought. I want, why isn't this a movie? <laughs> this would be a pretty good movie. Well, uh, like I'm sure, like if they got free, like the people who write the show, if they all got free creative range on um, what they got to make the movie about, yeah. I'm sure it wouldn't be a question. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So you know, fair. it's kind of unfair on the writers to yeah, um, yeah, yeah, hold them up to the same light. But I do see what you mean. Like, yeah, I do. Uh, so, other news? Um, other news is we're getting a DVD. Oh boy. Yeah. Um, What's on the DVD, Owen? Uh, oh, not that great, um, to be totally honest. <laughs> yeah, so basically, um, a while ago they announced that uh, it was something like Clear Vision or something got the license to have uh, MLP on DVD in the UK. Um, because they had season one and two, the the licenses for season one and two, and um, what they've done with that license is made a DVD which is pretty underwhelming. Uh, I guess. To be totally honest. Um, but it, what did you expect, really? Well, yeah, I, I guess, but it includes um, the the pilot episode, so French of His Magic Part One and Two, um, Griffin the Brush Off, which is the Gilder one, uh, Look Before You Sleep. Which is the 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 sleepover one, with uh, the rarity and Applejack one, That's a good uh, episode. Swarm of the Century, which is the Paris Bright one, and Owl's Well that ends well, which is the 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 Owl one. In case you oh, couldn't tell by the one. title, yeah. Um, and to be Those honest, not bad episodes. Out of, no, but like, Owl's Well that ends well is like my least favorite of series one. Griffin, I guess I'd agree with that. Griffin yeah. the Brush Off isn't all that great. That was a good episode. Look Before You Sleep is probably the best one on there. Yep. Swarm of the I, Century is alright. And I guess the, the pilot makes sense. And I don't. I, I yeah, personally it'd be kind of silly if they the didn't pilot. put the yeah. pilot in. Yeah. A bit weird um, how they didn't have the uh, finale, though. Yeah, I, I, I guess. But I guess. I, I mean, this is. Yeah, okay, the DVD is available. And apparently, it, like if you can get it from Amazon and it comes out on like the 1st of September. At the second of September, but okay. if you buy it from Clearview themselves, um, it comes out in July. It just says July. Yeah, but that could be wrong. Why? Well, why would they get their own release wrong? But, like you said, it just says July. Well, I... it is July. Yeah, but so it'd be a bit weird for them not to give a date in the month that it is. You know, it, we're halfway through the month now. It's a bit weird for them not to have a date. Yeah, but, you know, maybe you're right. I don't know. I just think that... Um, it's also know, it's a bit weird on... to have, like, a two-month gap. Yeah, it's also cheaper on Clearview's website, so if you are interested in... Um, if you are interested in buying it, then uh, you can find the link on the article we've got on the website, which is, uh, you'll have to go search for it. Because <laughs> we've got quite a bit of stuff happen since then. Yeah, since then. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, but yeah, so if you want to, you can I, find I the link. And because yeah. Owen said um, before the podcast that uh, he thought you know it's a bit weird how they only had episodes from season one, and I kind of yeah. think that's because they might have you know the next DVD being just season two episodes. Or well, yeah, where I they do, just have the. I do think it would have been better if they just kind of made a box set. Or something. Well, yeah, I I guess they don't want to commit themselves to 
making a box set just yet because that's a yeah. I guess we'll see of, how this does. Yeah, because that's a lot of DVDs. I guess yeah. Because uh, if you think about it, a DVD is seven gig. Uh, they've got they've got one, two, three, four, five, six. They got seven episodes on this. There are twenty six in the series. That's four DVDs. They'd have to so they'd be printing four DVDs. For, That's for each series. For for each series. A full DVD box set. There. What? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, so I, I guess they insects in my room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Summertime. Anyway, right. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, they, I guess they just don't want to commit themselves to printing that much. Yeah, I guess it makes sense. Uh, maybe time. they'll see how this does and then do it. Maybe. Yeah. Which we'll is see. which is why I kind of want to buy it, even if it is a bit underwhelming, because um. To support it. Yeah, because it, it, I don't, I kind of don't want people to say, "Oh well, that's a bit crap. I'm not going to buy that. I'm just going to wait for the, for like the f- full release, and then kind of no one buys it, or very I guess few it... people, or like, or they buy the license expecting so many people to buy it, and then not many people. Yeah, it will do. be a, yeah. it will be another reason on top of the ones we already have of oh this is why there isn't pony stuff like uh, pony show stuff in the UK. Yeah. yeah. Cool cuz no one bought it and then, you know, people wouldn't think oh cuz it was shit. They would just think you know, no one's buying it. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I mean I uh, I'm probably not going to get it, I'm going to be honest. Um I'm probably just going to wait for a box set and if that never comes then I'll just cry but well, I mean, I have all of the episodes on my computer in 1080p anyway, so I don't care. I know, but I, I want, like, the physical copies, I guess. I like collecting little things like that. Yeah, I, I, I get where you're coming from. I would also like the physical... I mean, I've got Equestria Girls on my computer, but I would also like to buy the that's why, when that's it comes why I'm gonna. Out. That's why I'm going to get the movie. You know, I'm not going to... I'm... I don't. I might not even intend to actually watch it. I just kind of want the DVD. <laughs> <laughs> you want to have it. You want that. Whatever it came with, the Ponify yourself additional extra that it comes with. <laughs> I don't even know what that is, but that's what the Equestria Girls <laughs> Blu-ray comes with. Wait, is that actually a thing? Yeah, like a Ponify yourself, like a DVD feature, which is like called Pon. It's just called Ponify yourself. Oh, I thought you meant like it was gonna. Include like the um, the Wonder Cult, like oh my god, that would be bloody brilliant! <laughs> and a tail, like because that's oh that's the god. first thing that popped into my mind. But they, no, actually, no, the Blu ray is actually from the looks of things gonna have like a little making of documentary type thing on it. It'll be like a the Brony documentary, except <laughs> it won't suck. And it's gonna, and it comes with a po. This is this is additional news now that we're talking about. Yeah, it comes with a, a, a no. Well, it comes with a movie poster, but not just any old movie poster. It's a printable movie poster. So what does it mean, act- printable? Well, presumably it doesn't actually come with a poster, but what? say like you put the DVD in your computer and then you can print off a poster. That's bollocks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty That's much. That's so fucking cheap. Yeah. Just don't include the poster then yeah. and put it on your website. But it comes with karaoke versions of the song, so you can pretend to sing um, the the best song in the whole movie Help all on Twilight your own. Win the crown. But actually, it's it's called Equestria Girls, which isn't bloody confusing at all because because it's already the, a song called Equestria Girls. Yeah, because Girls. the movie is called Equestria Girls, and there is already a song called Equestria Girls. So yeah, yeah I. I get yeah. So yeah, that so the DVDs and the Blu-rays and the stuff. One last item of news, <gasps> and the big one. We are finally gonna be getting a preview of season four. At Bye. finally, yeah, it's been that, how long? I was I was gonna say something. I was waiting for you to say at. Oh, at uh, Comic Con, San Diego Comic Con, twenty thirteen. How long are these previews? I never saw the one for uh, season three. Um, season three had two previews. It was the um, the I wasn't prepared for this song. Okay. And the Ballad of the Crystal Ponies song. Okay. Oh, so they were both songs. Yeah. Okay, so I I guess no, it's going to be no. that kind of length in this one. No, I tell a lie. There was another bit 
there was the bit where they go and question all the crystal ponies. And like they okay. go and try and ask some questions, and like the bit where Pinkie. So they're just going to be kind of promos around that length, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So cool. But like, I mean, last w- when that came out, we learned a lot from them. Like, we learned about the Crystal Ponies. We learned about Sombra. Um, yeah, I, I and I guess it it will probably be songs again. But um, it was still something to keep us going. How long has it been now? It's been five months since the series it's been finished. Five months. I can't. Can't it's take it. It's actually five months tomorrow. <gasps> yeah. What a coincidence! By the time this podcast is out, it will probably be then. Yeah, probably. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, yeah. So I guess um, it's been five months. It was longer than last time, where it's where it was only three months. So. Um, I guess we've had a longer wait, but it's you know, it's it's been all right actually. It's gonna so, be worth it, I hope. I, yeah, I mean, I'm 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 looking forward to it. I hope they don't mess it Have up. Have they announced whether the series is gonna be longer yet? Yes, yeah, twenty six episodes. Okay, cool. Because I, I I thought they might have, but I didn't know if that was well, the actually, sure thing. I'm not too sure if it's been officially announced. Yeah, as yeah, because I thought I heard something about it, but, but was... it was it was on Daniel Ingram's portfolio. He put um, My Little Pony French of His Magic on it and it was like um, it was a certain number of episodes which would have been which would have been 26, 26, 13 26, so yeah. yes, basically but I, I okay. think, I mean I personally think the only reason why season 3 was 13 episodes long was well, there were, I think there were yeah, two reasons, the movie and, well yeah okay the movie, and I think they kind of took this opportunity to have season three as a, like a kind of a transition series, because what it does is a lot of the episodes build up for future episodes. Yeah, I guess. So I, I, and like, I've, of course, the whole Alicorn Twilight event is one of those things, but you had like the 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 Pony Olympics thing, you had like the Wonderbolts thing, you had the Scootaloo and Rainbow Dash thing, you had the Discord thing you had a lot of these things which were building up. A lot of stuff like started yeah, I know Yeah, the the stuff that started in Season 3 and could then continue on in Season 4 and beyond possibly Um, so I guess they kind of used the opportunity to do that Right, and and the Crystal Empire was another thing introduction of that was a kind of a a big thing that they've yeah, reused a lot. like Cadence's lot. Kingdom thing. Yeah, they've reused that a lot. Oh yeah, one thing that actually um, that they mentioned in the movie was Twilight getting her own place. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, they did say that, but I think it's not going like, to well, happen. Well, um, they mentioned it in the movie and they mentioned it in the book. In the what? Crystal Heart Spell book that's set after season three. There is actually mention of um, of uh, there's actually Celestia mentioning that she should get her own kingdom, and according Maybe. to Megan, this was something that the author asked her whether it was canon. So. So maybe, maybe it, eventually, I guess. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I guess they'd have. Would they not have to introduce a new location? Twilight rules of a Ponyville well, with an Yeah, that fact. would seem a bit. You know, actually, I, 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 you know what? That would be if that was like the season premiere of season four. Would be like the two-part opener. Would be like, right, we've got to find a place for you to rule over, and then the end of it's just like, you know what? I'm fine just ruling here, <laughs> just in my library, just chilling, because. Wait, won't you I, just be doing the same thing you did before? <laughs> yeah, up, Celestia. yeah, yeah. I guess no, but then they could do that because that's actually that's actually like that's kind. And of... she just turned into like an evil dictator. <laughs> That's quite funny, actually, if you think about it, because you think like they'd go through all this effort to try and find this place. And you're like, you know, I'm fine here, actually. Why yeah, don't I as just a premiere, f- as a premiere for um, a series that people are kind of, a lot of people are kind of cautious about, I guess, since the Alicorn thing, that wouldn't be a good place to start. What, I don't really? Think. Yeah, just be like, oh, let's, because the whole episode would be pointless. Well, no, but, um, <laughs> but it would, like, it would be concrete. 
of that kind of the worry that everyone had where they were like oh well it's also a bit of a cop out mo- yeah but it's it's not it's a cop out but if they do it well then it's not so much of a it's not a cop out as in Pinkie Pie guesses everything that Twilight yeah, has but, to say in the movie I mean it's just it's just a way of um, I don't think it's a very strong way to open the series I, I, but, yeah, I, well, I, you know, I don't know I mean but yeah we'll I, see. I mean, in this, they're doing a panel. It's on. Uh, it's on. It's this Saturday on the twentieth of July. Um, yes. So hopefully they'll be able to answer some cool things about season four. Yeah, yeah. Probably not too much. But, questions. Yes. Well, I mean, we didn't get much last year. We I thought got... we got a bit, like kind of not like really like this is gonna happen, but more like subtle kind of little. Oh, you might expect this. Well, they, they hinted to things that didn't happen that they wanted to do. Like, they mentioned they wanted to do an episode about Luna and Celestia's history. Yeah, um, well, that's which, just, I don't think they... Th- and, if I remember right, they didn't say they were going to do that in C- Series 3. They, I think they said no. they had intentions to do it, which, yeah. you know, that's not which necessarily they, a lie. Well, that means it they could means, do it this year. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what I, that's what I mean. Like they've got plenty of episodes. They know how to, you know, make episodes that matter. I guess like they did this time. So. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, actually, no. One thing we got from Comic Con last year was that Trixie was coming back. Yeah, yeah. So, like, hopefully, we'll get some so nice. So we could juicy maybe get a little bit of information. Spoilers. Like, yeah, I, I, I guess. Yeah. So that that panel's happening at um. I don't know what time it is. Comic Con. Yeah, I don't know what <laughs> oh. time it is though. Not that it matters to me because it would be different time because I don't live there. <laughs> I don't know what the time zone is for San Diego, but it's not my time Sorry. zone. Sorry, <laughs> American mean time. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't PST, know. PST, something like that. Yeah, yes. I, I, I don't know, but yeah. Um, so, I, so I guess, um, yeah. Yes. So that's so it's happening. We'll probably probably cover it in the podcast next week. If they oh, mention yeah. anything, so yeah, so yeah, so that is news. That is the news. That's gone that is so quite news. long. Um, oh, Chris, we... like, I think Chris needed to like hush down a little bit. I yeah. mean, I know like we wanted to kind of flesh out the news section, but Chris, like, there's just the point where we need to move on, and you should just kind of shut up. Yeah, Chris. Okay, God. so uh, we should talk about yeah this weekend, last weekend actually now, isn't yeah. it? Yes, it was last weekend. It was last weekend. Um, Legends of Equestria had their open weekend. Yeah. Where they had they had a couple of servers for people to go on and uh, test out the game. And I, I I presume it was some kind of probably just some kind of server test to see um, how well the yeah. servers coped. Um, if it was a server test to see how well the servers coped, we can say they failed because yeah, um, it wasn't, it wasn't that- on. But it wasn't online for like fifty percent of the weekend. They actually extended, oh, it? yeah, they extended it a day because it wasn't online for fifty percent. Oh, of the time. I I didn't really know about it until the day after. Well, yeah. So I I didn't know that they fucked up on the first day. But well, you I, know, that's I all knew a part about of testing. It. I knew about it, and I was going to write an article about it, and then I realised that it was down and no one could get on it. Oh. So but, um, I delayed yeah, so the article a day. But anyway, yes. Before I forget, um, I am almost finished doing a video on it, uh, like oh, yes. kind of showcasing some of the things you might have missed in it, like some of the cool little Easter eggs and areas that you might not have seen. So you might be able to find those next time you play. Uh, so that will be up hopefully by the end of this week, but maybe probably like tomorrow, the day after or something. Right, that's awesome. That's something to look forward to. That'll be on the Equestria Confidential YouTube account, uh, which is EQ Confidential. So, go check that out for this video that Matt is making. But uh, yeah, on to the game itself. Um, what did you think of it, Matt? Actually, well, the, um, I thought it was all right. Um, the thing, right? So initially, when I saw the game, I was like, "Why are people so excited for this? I don't get it." It's like not to be like horrible but it's kind of like a massive it's they've built a nice world but there's not really much to do um so and i was kind of curious as to why people were so interested and i kind of worked it out like after the weekend they've got pretty much um 
So I say like with an MMO or something like that, there are kind of three main elements to it. There's uh, the world that they've built, the social interaction, and the actual gameplay. Right? So they've got two of the three things, I think, mainly make up a game like this. So I guess people see the potential more than you know what they actually got in the game they could just kind of fly around look at what is going to come so like people saw the things like the timber walls which actually looks really impressive yeah and things like that and they're like oh cool we're gonna get to like fight those and it's gonna be cool and the ever free uh forest was a nice thing to get lost in and there yeah, are the tons forest of... is actually quite good it, it yeah, was... there are... yeah and the, like, the cave there are a couple interior. of things there are a couple of things that I was like, maybe you might want to, uh, like, I didn't really like the way if you were a Pegasus, like, the way you just kind of, you could fly to the roof of Everfree and just kind of <laughs> stick to the top of the trees, like, maybe just, like, only let them fly so far or something, I don't yeah, know, I, it just kind of seems a bit weird. I think on first impressions, the, the Pegasus are really OP. Well, I guess for exploration, that's all you could do. So, why? Well, I mean, yeah, I, I guess they. But they it depends seem... what they. It depends what they do. But I like, guess. I mean, okay, unless they have enemies that can fly, I can also imagine that being quite OP for combat, because you mm. would just fly above them and just avoid them. We'll see. I hope they, you know, um, balance it pretty well. And even if yeah. they don't initially, you know, it's. I assume they are pretty open to community suggestions and whatnot, so yeah. that would be something that eventually uh, I would see getting fixed. And I, um, I also, also another. Oh, sorry. sorry. Yeah, go on. Okay, I was just going to say. Um, although we didn't actually see any real um, interaction or anything, there were times, you know, in the um, caves you could go up to like um, a crystal wall, and if you like right clicked, it would say mine or something. Uh, yeah. So you know, there there are obviously. Um, you know features and stuff that will be there in the future it's just this was just a nice little opportunity to run around and i mean i like i guess initially i wasn't too big on the art style but it really grew on me as i started to play like something i kind of hope they fix is the ponies look really creepy from uh when they face forwards but i guess that's just they canon with the do, show really. yeah. <laughs> but it, it wasn't that they looked weird in terms of them looking weird it was just the way their mouths went. The shadows went really weird, and it kind of looked like they had kind of a Joker smile thing. <laughs> um, I, yeah, yeah, I know what you mean, yeah. But that's kind of a nitpick, really. You're not going to notice that when you're playing the game and, like, actually, you know, playing it properly. You're not just going to be sitting there looking at the camera facing you, but Wait, it's no, a small was, thing in general. There was the game one looks... thing that was quite funny in the game, was that um, if you walked into an NPC... Uh -huh. And you spoke oh, yeah, to them. You could. What they must have done is they kind of brought the NPC's face up to the screen, mm -hmm. and what they must have just done is just set like a camera that just kind of just a shot of the NPC, and then like kind of it would get rid of the background around. They'd have yeah. It so so their mod just what their model them. is doing at that time. Yeah, 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 yeah. What the actual model is doing at the time, and if you clipped into the NPC, then you could just see yourself clipped into the NPC whilst you spoke to them. That is a problem. Uh, yeah. Sorry, that's I a mean, problem that's going to be fixed, and I know it's going to be fixed because um. Because they'll fix um, clipping. Yeah. No, not that. Um. Well, because most MMOs have clipping. Really. Yeah. But even with the characters. Yeah. Otherwise, think about it. Otherwise, things like. Things would be so. Um, you know, people could just make walls with themselves, and oh, you can like, yeah. get around them. Yeah, so like it's obvious, yeah. you know, they're gonna have it. But the the way they're gonna fix it is, I went into um, I think it was Cantola, and a couple of the characters you talked to had vectors instead. Oh yeah, yeah, they did. So that they're all, I assume, gonna have vectors eventually. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay, I, yeah, it could just be a placeholder. So yeah, I because I assume a pro like something like that would have just been a placeholder. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, um, I mean, they, it, when Owen and I and because uh, Chris kind of uh, only played for a little bit, just kind of looked around. Owen and I kind of stuck on stuck around for a bit longer. Um, the mods were really nice. You know, they knew yeah. there were a couple of problems with the game. Like there was one where. Um, some reason you get stuck and you couldn't move and they were just like oh yeah just do like another 
dance or sit or something and you can move again they were really oh, yeah. nice in the way they talked to people and um yeah i mean overall it was generally enjoyable to be there explore the world they had um i think cancelot i guess was the most interesting place to me yeah, yeah. you know with the wonderbolt hq and the uh, blimp and the everything i'm gonna show in the video basically yeah um too bad we can find about a hidden place but Oh yeah. Oh well. Yeah. Oh well. We found like most of the, we f we missed out one hidden place because we couldn't find it. Yeah, I found it before and then I couldn't find it again. I, yeah. yeah. Shame. So <laughs> yeah, fan games. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm. It, it's it's a good game, and it, I mean, for something that's kind of just a, a hobby hobbyist yeah, thing. Hobby I, project, it, yeah, hobby project. Yeah, it's it's a good game. Um, there, there's one issue with it, however. Oh. Um, it, it, we're not going to see it in like a couple months' time. It's going to get C and D'd. Yeah. It yeah. Is. I, uh, like yeah. all fan games of this proportion are. Well, I, I, I don't even think it's. I don't even think it's just of, of this proportion. It's just they use so much from the show. From they use so much from the brand. Yeah. The, yeah, and that they pretty because like uh, I guess you get other games that I forgot what it's called. The black and white one. The one that reminded me of Limbo. Oh, yeah, Temno. Yeah, Temno. Yeah. I guess that doesn't near, not nearly as much. But this no. one is practically the ponies and recreating the world and. Yeah, I mean Temno is just a side-scrolling area where you play as a unicorn that you can't even see, so yeah. you can't even tell that it's Twilight. But it, of course, yeah, it exactly. is Twilight. But there's no, there's no actual. There's nothing to actually say that it's Twilight other than the fact that you might be able to spot the tail and the hair is similar. And that's it. And yeah, so I guess that that's that's kind of that's more difficult to kind of say, oh well you're just stealing from the brand, whereas this is Yeah, this is like this you is can't like if you've got if they've when got, they find this it's yeah. going <laughs> yeah they, when they, yeah when they find this it's gone basically which is but um so what i hope will happen like um fan projects in the past have only ever really had well i guess they have three options um yeah. the first option is to just cancel stop uh, not continue at all yeah, yeah second option is to um kind of continue it but anon anonymously well, so, yeah, like, uh, yeah, try like, not to get caught like they're like um like a little... there's a there's a version of fighting, fighting is, is magic, magic yeah. that people on that basically um it when it was leaked ages ago people from slash mlp downloaded it and then when it got cnd they just worked on that for a while and you can download that if you they have still are there's a places. there's a community yeah. it's there no people don't um, work on it anymore they don't give a no. shit anymore. No one on Slash MLP works on Fighting His Magic anymore. Oh, I don't. I didn't know if they no, worked on no. it or not. I well, definitely no, know got... there's still people who play it, so that made me think. Oh, that... okay, yeah, there's still people who play, it, but no one's working on it anymore. Because there of were died. like, oh, really? Because yeah. there were admins in the um, in the chat when I went to go play it a bit online, which oh, I right. eventually couldn't get to work well, anyway. So I assume there would have been, but you know, I I don't really go on Slash MLP. Well, so I don't okay, know. well, either people don't work on it anymore or it's or, slowed down a lot or or the discussion of it has been banned because it's technically illegal well um the thing about it is as well is um that um i guess one of the harder things to do um about the game would have been to emulate the style of the art and everything they did oh yeah like you, rainbow dash and fluttershy one animated yeah i've played uh, wait the... i think rainbow dash was but not like very well like rainbow dash wasn't finished yeah rainbow dash fluttershy like wasn't animated at all yeah rainbow dash had a few frames of animation and fluttershy had none a still image <laughs> yeah so like like um i assume that is where they hit like yeah. a wall um because not many people like because they, they, you know, they're going to be able to get people who draw, but to be able to emulate the ex exact style to make it fit in yeah. would be a bit hard. I mean, I mean, like, I, I can't. You can't, of course, can't judge fighting as magic based on the pre-release on the pre-release build that was then modified by people from Slash MLP. But oh, no, of course I not. mean, but I mean, the stuff that Main Six did, that's in the version you can download, was good. So I mean, oh, I, yeah. I mean, I, I kind of. I, I have no doubt that 
that it would have been good and I have no doubt that what they're doing next which is we'll the fir- which is the third option that you were going to talk about earlier on before I interrupted you yep of um make something not pony carry on the project but yeah. not make it horse related yeah um the, well the thing about it is is that um I'm like a lot of people have been like oh fighting is magic doesn't have ponies in it anymore I'm not interested uh, but yeah. as a fighting fan myself I'm more interested in it because it's got Lauren Faust actually working on the designs that's going to be interesting um, yeah. it's got the same artist like if to be honest the best point of fighting is magic was the art and yeah, like yeah. the animation of the characters it was really good uh, the thing that bugged me the most was the combat was a bit floaty and weird uh, but the engine they've got for the new one is the uh, Skullgirls engine. Yeah, yeah. It's a really good engine. <laughs> so I think they're going to be able to make a really good game out of that. And, and I, you actually like Skullgirls as well. So I love Skullgirls, yeah. yeah. I've been playing that a lot lately. Yeah, so if they make something similar to that, I guess you're, 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 you're there. You're... It's like Skullgirls, but with horses. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's hooved combat or whatever it is people are calling it. I wonder what they're actually going to call it. I, I, you know, they could just continue the name "Fighting Is Magic." Yeah, it's not like drop, copyright infringement. Yeah, and just drop the My Little Pony that was in the title beforehand. Yeah. So I, I guess they could. But yeah, I mean. But that might be that might be confusing when people are like, "Oh, I thought this got Susan desisted." Like people oh. who um, because you know, it got articles on actual gaming sites that's part well, of the reason why it got so much attention and why it got shut down. Well, so yeah, yeah. people who heard about it would be like, "Oh, I thought this was like." Gone. Well, you know, you know that any website because when it properly comes out, when it probably gets into motion, actual video game websites will pick it up. Not just a question of daily or a question of gaming. Actual video game websites will pick it up, like Eurogamer well, and IGN well, GameSpot and did, Gamespot. Um, exactly. No, no. Well, Gamespot did the thing of fighting as magic before well, no, it got seasons assisted. Did they? Well, yeah, no, that's well, no, no, part but, of the reason why but, it got ceased. No, but, but but those websites only did it because it was because it was going to go to Evo. A niche thing, yeah. No, was they it? Did, yeah, they did it because it because the organisers at Evo had a vote for the games to, that they for, they had a vote for games at for like oh, a yeah. community vote, and um, and they put Fighting's Magic there as a joke. So, pe- so uh... like Gamespot, Eurogamer, IGN all picked up on this and they were like what what's this and then all made articles about the article I, magic could be at evo and the article i saw wasn't about it being at evo it was just yeah. kind of a thing about um this is what happens when fans try really hard and make something well i guess it got noticed because it was yeah it got evo. noticed because yeah. of the evo thing i but that that probably seems more likely but I think, yeah I, I do see what you mean about like when this actually comes out it will get interest as a game like they probably yeah, will yeah. mention how it was horse related before but now it's totally. like a game with a good engine and good art and whatever yeah yeah i think it's I, kind I, of I hopes. i going back to the evo thing briefly i think it's kind of i think that is kind of the root of why it doesn't exist anymore because that's why people noticed it that's why it got picked up by journalism Mm. And when it got cease and desisted, Main Six said themselves that Evo hadn't contacted them or anything, and the game wasn't ready to go anywhere. So they, the guys at Evo, just put it as a joke and like didn't expect anyone to vote for it. And people did vote for it, and it was pretty high up the list. It was like second place, if I remember correctly. Um, I don't, I don't um, think um, I remember right. Um. I can't remember how the voting in Evo worked. I don't remember. I don't think. You know, I'm not going to say because I, I I can't say for certain. But I don't. I didn't think it was um the actual uh people who run Evo. I didn't think they suggested the games. Really? No, I thought it was a community voted thing. I mean, and then like um it was a donation thing anyway. Like what was it? Oh, it turned know. out to be because like I know this isn't related to that at all like pwn but that's, <laughs> you know everyone heard about the super smash brothers melee being an evo thing nintendo pulling that 
That's because okay. uh, people voted for Melee and it raised like a uh, hundred thousand dollars for charity just to have that. So oh, you see. know, right? Okay. But, um, I, didn't even I, I think that was early days. I think that was early days um, when people were talking about fighting as magic. I, I think that was before the donations and stuff started. Um, so I don't know to be honest. But uh, well, yeah. I, but uh, I just besides the point, I just remember. I just remember Main Six saying the game wasn't ready to go to go to Evo, so that yeah, no one they, they weren't they weren't gonna go to Evo. So I, yeah. So I guess it's, it's, kind, of, it's, kind, it's disappointing <laughs> that the thing that the the thing that got them the publicity and the thing that eventually got them shut down, they weren't gonna do. <laughs> Well, the thing that w the thing that was going to get them publicity anyway would always get them shut down. Yeah, I, like you know, it was the publicity that killed them. I guess, but it, I, it, would, I, it didn't matter that it was Evo or whatever. Hope, it just mattered I, I guess that it got they just, publicity. I guess they just hoped that that time would come a bit later when maybe they'd finished it. Yeah, it got like a decent enough version yeah. out. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then they could have just released. They could have just slyly released it onto the internet. Like they pretty much did with this, but yeah. So I'm yeah, I guess it's all it's all it's disappointing that the game got season to sister, but of course Hasbro had every right to. And yeah, of course it's yeah. protection of their brand and everything. Yeah, yeah. And I think it, the game's gone on for better things, and I think if you're only like, oh yeah, like totally, it's like a bit I mean... of a weird thing to say, but I think if you're if you're only interested in it just because it has ponies in it, then. It's, I mean, I guess it's a cool thing to spotlight games. Like, I guess it's the same thing with music and everything. Like, it's a nice thing to be inspired by, to oh, be well, able to like, make something in the world of the show, and that's really cool and interesting, but in, if that's the, the only way... literal reason you want to play it, then I don't think, like... In the same way know. that Alex has started out with Pony Music, and then... Yeah, of course. And then he's gone to his own thing, and there are still people who bug him that he doesn't do Pony <laughs> Music anymore, and I... Yeah. yeah. Poor guy. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, like it's like the thing of, um... What was I going to say? <laughs> Alex yeah, S? Like I... <laughs> no, not Alex S. Uh... Yeah, I think if you're only interested in things in the fandom because they are a bit of a fandom, then I think you're looking at things at the wrong perspective. Like yeah, I mean, things because they're good, not because they're related to horses. Yeah, totally. Great things can come from it, like being inspired. Like so, it something like Legends of Equestria could be really cool because it's set in the world, and they could be inspired by a bunch of things, like in the quests and the combat that happens and things. So it's cool for it to be inspired by it. But it's not cool for people to be like, oh, it's good because it is the show, not it's good because it is a game that, that is well made. Relied, yeah, yeah. Not relied, that took inspiration from the show to be good, I yeah. guess. Yeah, yeah. See, so, yeah, I mean, in in light of all of this cease and desist stuff and the thing that happened with Fighting's Magic and whatnot, I guess there's been a lot of games that have just been trying to get around the issue, I guess. Yeah, Some and that's the thing that that's the thing that um, games that don't try and avoid the issue are gonna run into the problem. You know, they're yeah, all yeah, gonna yeah. end eventually. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so. yeah. I'm putting it bluntly, yeah, I guess. Well, yeah. uh, it's sad, but it's. Well, I guess it depends on the game. Because of mm. course they're never gonna shut down like small flash games. Oh no. And and they and it, I guess if someone. <laughs> made a game where you comb their hair and do other girly childish things to But no one would be interested in ponies. that. Well yeah, that's what I mean. But if unless they did it was that, just that like, would never unless get it was just like a really system. elaborate ruse for like some kind of rule thirty four game. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was the public face and you downloaded it and it was actually like hardcore ponies no, no, guns. No, 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 that is no, what it what it was, it's like um, it's literally like a flash game that's like you know brush the hair and do whatever, and then you know you just do like a combination of the actions where they like brush the hair, or put on some kind of dress, you do it in a certain order. <laughs> yeah, and then it just turns into Grand Theft. Pro and you or unlock something. hot coffee. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh Jesus. Yeah. Oh. That would be something. <laughs> 
God, why did I say that? <laughs> I I feel sorry for anyone who's listening. The the two pe- out of the two people, if neither of you get what hot coffee is, don't look it up. Yeah, just don't, please. Please. Because uh, yeah. Anyway, so I mean, there's been a couple of games recently. One in particular that we mentioned on the website a couple of weeks ago. Um, that has done something very sneaky to get around the season desist. Um, that game is called Questria. Uh, Questria Princess Destiny. Bear that in mind because oh, we, we are going to mention another Questria in a bit. Yeah, um, so this is Princess Destiny. Yeah. Maybe we should just call this Princess Destiny. Okay, yeah, know. call it Princess Destiny then. So, um, yeah, the thing that game is funny, you, um, you play as Sialestia. Yeah. I don't know how to quite pronounce it. That's probably it's good S-I-R-E, enough. It's S I R E Lestia, and then um, you <laughs> take control of your student, Twy Bright. I think it was Spankle or something. Twi- not like that. probably not Spankle, Matt. I'm. I thought it was. Really? Yeah. I. What? Because it didn't say like. Who maybe thought was... that name was a good idea? <laughs> no. All right. So, <clears throat> I didn't think like. Because they only refer to her as like Twilight in the actual yeah, yeah. trailer, but um, if you actually paid attention to the dialogue boxes in it, the character that was supposed to be Trixie called her that. So I don't know if that was some Maybe kind of joke, was, but yeah. I thought that was it's a bit of a weird joke. Then if like if they meant it with that intention, it, I to be honest, because they I wouldn't be played surprised. it as being as like a, I guess they kind of in the Kickstarter or Indiegogo or whatever it was on, they kind of. You know, I, th- I I I would say they tailored it to a kind of safe for work audience. That well, really... it's kind of looks a bit um, safe for work. Yes. Oh but yeah, no borderline. <laughs> but I guess it's just that anime style. Yeah, yeah I, I guess. But um, I mean, yeah, that's getting around the issue by using uh, adjusted names. Uh, all the characters are humans, um, except Spike, who must be like some kind of weird elf thing. A dog. It's <laughs> not. <a> dog, <laughs> no. um, yeah, and I guess that's kind of their clever way around. Their clever way of getting around it. Um, to be honest, it'd be kind of funny with all of these projects to see how they get around it. Like whether they're just going to do things like that, or they might. Kind of well, yeah, I guess. Palette I... swaps. I'm I I'm not even like sure if that's good enough to get around it. To be totally honest. Oh yeah, it is. They're not ponies. They're not equestria girl things. They've got different names. Like I know Casper are gonna I'm know. Just... They're gonna know. They're gonna know that's what they're doing. Yeah, but the, but the thing it's is, it's not damaging though, to their property at all because it's f- not their property. But the thing is, it's the names that they copyright. Yeah. So they have. But they're not using the copyrighted names. But they don't have. They don't have copyrights to are they similar not, sounding names. Are, are they not that close that they could? No. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah. That's why, I like, you get wrong. like on the back of ice cream trucks and things, you get uh, characters that look like the Simpsons, but aren't. <laughs> like you get like really creepy and weird demented yeah. drawings of cartoon characters. And, yeah. Like, I, this I is. Guess, yeah. This is. Moma Dimpson <laughs> or yeah. something. Yeah, you get that kind of. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, yeah, and of course, like in, well, of course, in parody, you get play on words, brands, and actual and stuff. So I guess, yeah, I guess, it, yeah, okay. But it, I, yeah, of course, like you say, how the, there's going to be people at Hasbro like, God damn it. Yeah, we know what they're doing, but we can't do anything about it. But like, I don't think. Um, no, I mean, they, I guess they, the only reason they would care is because it's you know they have to protect their IP and that doesn't yeah, it's, do yeah, anything to yeah, it. Like so it's, yeah, it's not done. Actually, they the IP. And like a lot of people, like people seem to forget that a lot of people um, who work on the show actually do like this kind of stuff. It's just kind of the kind of big, I guess, more executives. That are kind of hunting out and trying to take yeah, down yeah. these things to protect their brand. They're not going to care because, either way, because it doesn't damage their brands and the people who do care, you know, they're going to know and they're still going to like it. I guess. Yeah, yeah, I guess. So I'd say it. 
I guess, yeah. Um, and the the other Questria game is uh, doing uh, doing another doing a different approach. What they're doing is um, originally it was going to be like a, a, a kind of a dungeon crawler with ponies set in Equestria, set in the universe with like some kind of story about changelings and stuff. Um, and since the whole Fighters Magic issue, they have changed their mind and have um, changed it so that it's not set in the same universe or anything, or doesn't have like changelings enemies. But um, it's the only difference being that it's got um, the it's just got ponies in it that you play as ponies. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I I guess you you were saying before that um that they look similar. They do. Yeah, so I but I mean they look like the 3D models which aren't Hasbro's and are only the kind 3D of, models of what? Uh, they look like the 3D models that like someone that the person made and put on DeviantArt. Oh, those ones. Yeah. Um, so I, I mean, like, they, of well, course, they like, are, so I, yeah. but it's like the same. I guess they. I guess it goes back to the thing of they are not actual designs, but yeah. that is that is much more borderline than um than the Princess Destiny game yeah, is because yeah. that is like they they're not just humans they are like actual ponies like I wonder do they have cutie marks. That is a that is actually a fair point because they are they might part, have some because kind of they are part of the brand. Yeah, of course. And but like I mean, well, well, no, they can't be because you see all of these knockoffs and they all have something on them. Uh, well, it depends, like because what they're going to have the rights to is going to be pretty exact. So they've got to play their cards. Well, no, but they have well. they have the rights to toy horses with. Brushable hair and uh, no, they and the... have they and um, like it depends what kind of copyrights and uh, things like that they own because you can get um I'm stepping away out of like my territory. I have no idea what I'm talking about right now, but there is um there's like I've never got the difference between like the trademarks and the well trademark and isn't but... something you isn't something that, that you actually register a trademark is something that you kind of say yes this is a word or phrase that is associated with our brand yeah i mean the one that is like um a design a what a, like a, a registered trademark would be or a pat or a a patent. A, yeah well yeah patent all right it is something similar to that that is like a trademark or a copyright or something that is for design and they might have something similar to that but I don't know and um, I think then the Equestria dungeon crawler thing would be a lot easier to take down yeah uh, I I still stand by they've just got to play their cards right I think they could get away with it but I think personally I think if they because the only reason they changed it was because they were scared that the same thing was going to happen to them that happened yeah, to yeah. fighting as magic I think if Hasbro found out about this, they could still be in some trouble. Yeah. But because even though it's like not their brand, they could say, you know, take this game down or you know, we'll take court action. And I think I don't it know. It it depends. What it else? Just, yeah. You know. I mean that is, is there any is there anything else any other games out there um, that you've heard about Super Lesbian Horse RPG really Matt what's that in your sick it, fantasies <laughs> <laughs> it's a game made by Bobby Schroeder the same guy who does the Ponet channel or the Fluttershy replies Tumblr he's doing a game that's kind of like an RPG based off Earthbound that's about Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy being lesbian horses, and they go on an adventure. But it's not actually like, kind of. I have I, I I joke when I say where in your sexual fantasies is this, but I mean like it, it's no no it's compl it's safe for work. Yeah, it's completely it's like, safe it's for just, work. It's just it's the, the title like, is kind of humorous. But yeah, yeah, it, the title is meant to be humorous. Um, the kind of 
the kind of the kind of stuff he does is kind of I guess cute kind of yeah. chipping stuff like oh they kissed her uh, kind of thing not like yeah, yeah. some of the stuff you see I guess not like not uh, safe work stuff yeah 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 so it's gonna be very safe work he's very like tame with the kind of stuff he does um so yeah I mean that I'm looking forward to that I've I played the demo the humor's good um I like the art and I look forward to it and I'm probably going to do a video on that too when it comes out my only issue with super lesbian horse rpg is that i hate rpg maker with <laughs> a passion because I you mean, can't use it or because, because you hate things that come from it be, no i don't hate things that come from it i just i used rpg maker to make something and i was working on that something An rpg <laughs> what An rpg what yes it was how did you know um <laughs> And I worked on that something for three years. And it took me the third year to realize this is crap. <laughs> this is so limited and so restrictive. And just, and what annoyed me most about it was that I know programming languages. But. I was still using RPG Maker. Yeah, but it's good for people who and, don't. But no, I was still using RPG Maker, which has its own language. <laughs> which uh, I just couldn't be asked to learn. When, where, where, I, where I do C Sharp, so I could just make something in Unity using C Sharp. So why wasn't I doing that sooner, was my annoyance. So basically, I'm kind of interested, what, what were you working on? I'd rather not say. Oh, okay. All right, fair enough. It was not my sick pony fantasy game. <laughs> no, I'd rather not say. Super be- I'd rather not say because RPG. I'd rather not say because people are listening, and I don't know what kind of people are listening. Um, okay, fair enough. Don't mind. Just yeah. But yeah, I, cool. I, yeah. So I don't like RPG Maker, but if you can use it and use it well, and if if it's just a short game and it's not sh- one of these stupidly long, overblown, I'm trying to be Final Fantasy VI no, no, games, no. then it's not that good. at all. It Go doesn't take it. itself very seriously at all. It's kind of like poking humor at itself, yeah. and the, I guess the main point of it is just to tell a dumb little story more than have like yeah. more than the gameplay element and like cool little easter eggs and little things they had like that I guess it's um, the same thing as um, uh, Game Maker like with things like that I mean you can make good things in Game Maker and like yeah like I didn't find out until quite recently in like Hotline Miami was made in Game Maker so like you know there is a lot of potential for things like this it's just you've got to know how to use them right and yeah I guess best of luck to Super Lesbian Horse RPG I just like saying the name not the name, the name. When when you when you told me about it, I was like, "What, Matt? I told you this is a safe for work website. We're not having that on the website." <laughs> and you're like, "No, no, it's fine. It is safe for work." Yeah. S L H R P G. I'll just call it that. To <laughs> not upset people. Uh, you're, you're fine. Um. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I mean, that's fun. Like most of the things that are like fandom related are just kind of little things like that. Not like massive projects at the moment. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess I'm kind of personally interested in um, in video games myself. Really? And yeah, I know it's crazy, isn't it? It's almost and, like we used to do a podcast about that. Yeah, and um, and so I guess it would kind of be nice going back to the topic we said earlier on about like maybe being inspired by something to maybe make something myself based around it but not like not like a big not like a big project um yeah not 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 a big project but just something something small something nice and then maybe that's something I'd want to do I I don't know that's where I end it yeah I mean my, like yeah. thing about it is it's like a reason like Chris has said this about the show before like um I know he, he keeps trying to say it now and we're interrupting him I'm sorry Chris oh. um but he like he's always commented about how um one of the most um gr- one of the most enticing things about the show is the world they've created yes. and the kind of lore and the 
the characters and like all the different things with the magic and the Pegasi and all this and that, there is limitless because like yeah. you know limitless potential for people who don't have to listen to Hasbro telling them what to do. So you know you make a game, you make it pwn related, you get the cease and desist, and then you make it not pwn related, but all the pwn fans know that you're making it and it's really a pwn game. Wink, wink. Yes. Exactly, that's yeah. the route I would go down if I could make games or wanted to make a game about horses well, and well, guess what I I can make games <laughs> oh, oh not rubbing it in anyone's face or anything <laughs> sorry <laughs> Owen with his art made in MS paint <laughs> shut up you <laughs> <laughs> but guys the mechanics are really good <laughs> it's, it's the best game ever but all the art is drawn in MS paint with a mouse and uh, guys, you could just make them, you could make them all squares and be like, no, guys, it's like Thomas was alone. Yeah. <laughs> Rainbow Dash was alone. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It be, she'd be like a rainbow square. Yeah. Blue Apple with like a rainbow square. top. Oh yeah. Oh. You have to make this game now. You know what? I'm gonna do just that. Uh, we're gonna leave you here. You could at the end wait, of the wait. Podcast. What? You could no, no, no. I, I just need to say you need to beg John Delancey to do the voice, the voiceover for <laughs> yes. it. <laughs> yes. Oh my God, that would be so good. Right. Anyway, that's a nice bombshell. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so I guess we'll just end it up here by doing the usual, doing the plugs. We're not Ooh. meant to mention the fact that we're doing plugs now. That's meant to be kind of a sly little thing that we add on the end without drawing attention to it. But oh well. No one um, listens this far anyway. No, no. Because Chris just deterred them by how much he just didn't shut up. Uh, yeah. Like Chris, I, I'm, I'm really starting to wonder whether we should just keep doing this with you or not. You know, you just yeah. need to learn to be quiet. God. So yeah, um, I, if you. <laughs> <laughs> All the news we talked about you can find on the website. That's equestriaconfidential.co.uk. You can find videos that we will post in the future. Matt's yep, got like a video. the Legends of Equestria video. Yeah, Matt's got a video planned. I actually have videos in the works at the moment. Ooh. Yeah. Well, I have I have scripts of videos in the works and the actual editing on one of them. Um, and the uh, eventual super lesbian horse RPG video. That's the yeah. that's the only reason people really want to go to the YouTube. Oh channel. yeah, totally. The YouTube channel, <laughs> if you are interested, is uh, www.youtube.com forward slash EQ Confidential. You can follow us on Twitter, where we do not update anymore, but will in the future. And uh, that pl- you, on Twitter, we post uh, links to the articles and various other small little things that we found that we thought were quite interesting. Uh, yeah. That is uh, our Twitter account is EQ underscore confidential. You can go on Facebook, which is never updated. At we all never days. update that. The only thing we update, you know, not as much as the uh, Facebook page is the Google Plus page, which Do does even have that anymore. It does still exist. <laughs> it I, exists. It exists. The Google Plus page. It exists. Yeah, um, yeah, and the Facebook and Google Plus are both EQ confidential. Uh, you can email us, and we will read out the emails. We just Please haven't received. Us. We just haven't received any. We have done nine episodes of this podcast, and we have not received a single email. Come on, so- guys! For the glorious, for the glorious podcast of double digits. Yeah. You need to send us the first question. Or you could even just say lol brohoof XD and we'd still read it out. We might take the piss a little bit, but we'll read it out. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, uh, so yeah, well, you can email us at contact at Equestria Confidential. If you have some glorious pwn related fan content you would like to send to us, then please do via the submit page on the EquestriaConfidential.co.uk website. There's a little link on the navigation bar called Submit and fill out the form and send it to us and we will feature it on the website most likely when we get round to it. And when I say we, I mean me. So, um, yeah. I'm I- planning on writing more. I'm sorry, Owen. <laughs> it's fine, Matt. It's fine. Airing the dirty laundry in the podcast. I was like, God damn it, Matt, if you don't write an article. Well, you didn't have to keep mentioning it, Matt. <laughs> uh, no, I, it's... <laughs> I just thought it was funny to mention them. <laughs> okay. Right, okay, so I suppose that's it. So uh, we'll, we'll see you next week for the, the Double Digits episode where we will probably be talking about the events of Comic Con 2013. So, yeah. from me and from the rest of us, bye, every horse. Bye. Nay. Nay.